100th episode, take one. Yep. A marker. E mark. episodes guys not many shows get to that mark so I just want to say thank you for everybody's hard work a hundred episodes a millions of laughs God bless and thank you all yeah. so few shows make it to 100 episodes and to get to this mark two shows back to back um, to me I yeah I take a lot of pride in that less than one percent of shows ever get to a hundred I mean I, th I think that that's it's kind of amazing I mean, you could never foresee that this would happen. To have a show go past its pilot episode is a miracle. It's never easy. Most shows don't make it past the first episode. They just don't, you know? I mean, the casualty rate is unbelievable in Hollywood. You look over your career and you think, you know, all the shows you're pretty sure were gonna make 100, <laughs> made three, you know? <laughs> I had a three once, and I thought, you know, uh, um, I had a three once that's voted one of the best one of the best series ever by a TV Guide. We did three of them, and it was gone. So you can't, you you just don't know. When you think of a Lost in Space and shows that were sci-fi back in the '60s. They went two, three seasons max. The original Star Trek went three seasons. It's been a very successful show, and it and and it's really more about just stop stepping back and going, wow. I, I got pretty lucky here. You know, we've all worked on a lot of series that never went past first season for various reasons. I mean, to get a second season even on a show is, uh, is a triumph, and I think to go five years is, is certainly, is certainly a, a benchmark for, for a, a series in this town. I mean, not a lot of series go this far, so I think it's important. You know, in Hollywood, the way it works is you pitch a thousand shows, you go to pilot on a hundred. Of the hundred shows that you go to pilot on, 30 of them go to series. Of the 30 shows that go to series, five or six go to season two. And of the five or six that go to season two, only one or two go to five seasons. So you're basically talking about one out of a thousand shows that actually gone, go as far as Andromeda has gone. To be on a series for a hundred episodes is enormous. And I just think it's, a, a, a true test to how close this cast is. There's no pretension here. The cast is great. The crew's fantastic. It's developed into a quite uh, kind of family feeling. It's really the ideal job. When I started the show, I was 21. And now I'm 26, and that was like a quarter of my life I've spent on the show, which is pretty amazing. I was just speaking with uh, one of my fellow crew members on set, and we were thinking about that. And he has had two daughters born, and people have been married, and you know, it's just amazing. The way the series was created, the the, the Bible of the series was very strong, and um, I think all of the characters were painted uh, as, as very strong individuals. And so there was something to step into. There was something to inhabit that w was credible. I mean, even though you have this kind of way out there world of aliens and space and all that stuff, they are real people. And I think that's um, one thing about everybody in the cast is, is they're good actors. And so they inhabit those well-drawn characters very well. You know, I, I've always said that I think some of the best actors come from science fiction, and some of the best actors are involved in science fiction television. I remember Gordon Verhul, our, our DP, um, very first scene, uh, you know, I said all my dialogue and he goes, Wow, a lead actor actually knows his dialogue. <laughs> in any kind of series, the tone is always set by the star. And you couldn't have a better boss than Kevin Sorbo. He's just a lot of fun to work with. He's got a great sense of humor. It's important for the, that number one actor on the call sheet to set an example. And to me, it's like, look, I'm willing to do the work. And I know it's infectious for everybody else. And uh, the other actors come on and do the work, too. And we've, we've always had a good good relationship that way on the show, which is good. We have fun. Our blockings are very, you know, off the wall. Uh, I know when new actors come on the show to guest star, they're like going, 
you know, because we're changing stuff and we're doing this, and they, it kind of blows them away for a second, but then they catch on very quickly and they love it. It's a very relaxed set. You know, there's no, there's not, a, there's no egos on this show, except the director. The director has an ego, but no, it's it's fun. It's a great, it's a great environment to work in. It doesn't feel like work. It feels like play, which is kind of how it should be. I think one of the things that that distinguishes us maybe from other sci-fi shows or. Um, is a strong point anyway for Andromeda is the sense of humor um, and that comes from Kevin and trickles right down I think everybody's kind of encouraged to toss in lines or mess with it a bit or um, take scenes that might be serious and a little bit tongue-in-cheek with them um, you still have to bring reality to it but but there it's, it's a sense that sometimes there's a sense this is also ridiculous and you've got to have a sense of fun about it and uh, I think fans also appreciate that you know that we all kind of were like nudge nudge yeah we're in space <laughs> I think one of the reasons that this kind of action sci-fi drama thing works is because it's kind of tongue-in-cheek it's sometimes it's not referred to as science fiction but sort of space opera and uh, there's room for humor anywhere there's a drama, there's conflict, and that's always fun to play as an actor. You know, it's just the audience, it gives them something more to sort of hang on to because I think people can relate to it. And I think people watch the shows for different reasons. Some watch for me, some watch to watch trance. Some watch, I mean, it's, I, I think when you've got such a wide variety of people in the show, uh, my ego's not that big to think that, you know, oh, they're watching because of me. You know, it's a combination of everybody involved in the show, and I think that's what uh, has helped make the show what it is. I think, you know, one of the main things that has kept this show afloat is me. Um, you know, I think without Harper, there would be no Andromeda. <laughs> I think you know, I think it's, you know, it's, it's hard as an actor. You're so biased and you feel very proud of your cast and your, your actors and you say, well, it's the actors, it's the cast. We make the show, it's the characters. But really, television does come down to characters. And so, you know, if the writers are keeping those characters alive and dynamic and the actors are honoring those dynamics and, and adding more to it without um, crossing lines that you set up ahead of time and so that the audience can rely on you to, to be those characters every week, then they'll come back to hang out with the people they've gotten to know. You get action, you get comedy, you get drama. So you, you get a little bit of everything and it's all mixed into a sci-fi show. It starts with the fans. It starts with, with people that tune in and want to watch it. Sci-fi fans are dedicated, uh, detail-oriented. Uh, they love all the spins that uh, come with the show. They love the, the details and the storylines, the characters, they keep track of everything. And um, they're loyal. So I think they keep us coming back. And the sci-fi fans are extremely loyal. I mean, they're it's just, they're great. It's a very well done show. I, I, I think the combination of the cast, uh, you know, we've got three uh, very talented actresses who all happen to be, well, actually we have four now, because we added a fourth this year in season five, um, that are all very hot as well. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. I'm proud to be on the show. I, I can't take any credit for the 100th episode, but I'm really proud to be on a show, on a series that would make it to 100 episodes. I'm really proud of it. It makes you feel like you know what you're doing, at least in this genre. You think, well, yeah, I guess we, we got it right or we wouldn't still be here. It's more reflection. It's more stopping to say, you know, whoever's re responsible, thank you. <laughs> you think of 100 episodes, people don't realize it's an hour show. It's the equivalent of doing 200 half-hour sitcoms. I mean, it's huge to get to that amount of shows. In terms of work, I'm talking about in terms of work that you put in, the hours you put in. Because we, we, do, we do triple the hours what a sitcom does each week in terms of actual man hour on a show like this. It's tested a lot of limits for me. Um, when I first started doing the makeup, it was close to six hours every day. And it is hard. Fortunately, I have wonderful people to work with every day. 100 episodes, and I think it's 14 babies? 16 babies? I think, uh, I think it's been 15 babies, seven marriages, a few divorces. But you know, it's part of life. So it's part of life. Things are, anybody, come on, anybody want to say anything, please. We want to thank the crew who have helped us through 100 episodes because it is a team effort and we love you and thank you for all the work you have done because this is as much for you as it is for anyone else. So thank you to you. And for those that don't know, I have actually stolen I call them ad libs, but it's true. A number of those lines that are real zingers, I've actually stolen from all these people out here. <laughs> Crew guys throw them at me and they so get it. So it's their in. fault. <laughs>
That's right. Uh, the lewdest ones. <laughs> Bob doesn't want to hear that. 95% Bob Engels, 5% Grips and Gaff. Yeah. We are so blessed with one of the best crews, one of the best, you know, it's unbelievable. So many people, there used to be a stigma attached to shooting in Canada. That's gone. It's a great place to go to work every day and the crew is, uh, has all been, most of them have been with us since the beginning, most of the casts, you know. Um, so this is a fantastic, uh, fantastic experience. It's the longest job I've ever had. It's really one of the better jobs uh, that I've ever had. We're giving out a shirt to the whole crew here. We have a 100th episode party coming up and I know we forgot to put one particular line that Dylan Hunt always says. My character says probably in half the episodes we've shot, 50 of the 100 so far, where we, I'm in the middle of crap all the time. Dylan just basically, he almost breaks the fourth wall and I go, it's never easy. And we wanted to put that 100 episodes in Dylan's quotations, it's never easy. But we're, we're going to do it on a different shirt later. But uh, it's, not, it's not easy. And so it's a lot of fun that we uh, made it this far. You can't get to 100 episodes without uh, having a great group of folks and people that get along. And you should all give yourself a big hand, I think, you know? One, two, three, go! Oh! Wow. I can't believe it. I think I feel very privileged to be working this long and uh, very privileged to be working with all of these cool people. And um, awesome, very proud of it. I've done many, many different shows. I've done a lot of different movies, guest starring on. This crew, this cast, you know, cream of the crop, I wish, I wish that they were recognized. It's kind of a really uh, special time right now because there's the 100th episode. I've never worked this long on a show before. We just had a baby two and a half weeks ago, so it's pretty, uh, it's pretty mind-blowing, actually. We met on the show, so thanks to Andromeda, we got married, had a baby, and we're celebrating 100 episodes. This crew, Sherry Gorval, the producers on this show, it's been an Amazing. incredible bunch of people Amazing. that, you know, kept it afloat when it was going to sink, and yet it did. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. A lot of fun. Great casting group. It's so thrilling. I mean, when we started the show, we had no idea that it would ever come this far. I mean, everyone hopes for it, but it really delivered, and it's thrilling, and now we're celebrating tonight, and I just arrived, and I'm just, I'm so excited to see everyone and their, and their get-ups, you know, finally we can actually be dressed up all together. I feel proud and privileged and honored to be here, but I definitely want to say to my friends on this cast and crew and the production and down south, congratulations on 100 fabulous episodes. It's a really fun show. I've started watching it. I am now a fan, not just an employee. It's a wonderful group, you know, and, and it's been so pleasant and so seamless. Uh, um, you know, I do 100 more in a minute. I work on a lot of different series, you know, and as a director, you kind of end up being like a substitute teacher. And the one thing that's really fun about this group is it's a really great family. And I thank them for making my job easy every day. Any show these days that can reach 100 episodes really is a unique property. I mean, it's a milestone we come right down to it. We're here to, to provide some entertainment and provide some escapism from the realities of reality TV and, uh, and have a good time. And, uh, I think that comes across in the final product. So God bless you guys and thank you.